the little Bondo the front bumper. Give you a little cold start. So one of the issues that I've been having since I bought the car is before we replaced the airbags, the horn wasn't working on the car. So replaced the airbags, replaced the clock spring, replaced the airbag control module, hoping that that would reset it and turned out actually just to be a fuse. The horn actually works now. It was the fuse number 13. For the for the horn, so horn works. So if you need to change your turn signals, you don't have to take the whole bumper off. You can get to it from underneath. It's literally right there, and it's very easy. Taking the GTI to get an inspection. Got all the title shit done. So now we just gotta get the inspection done, get it registered, get insurance. We're good to go. Just trying to get some insurance. And I find out I gotta get the insurance before I can get the registration. find the correct size and the right color on Facebook burn all mark trees so ended up working out shipped that red one back so there was some debate online on whether you should use tape when you get all the old trim tape off you should use tape or if you should use glue uh, I think I'm gonna go with the tape because I don't want to chance any running but we'll see how it looks. Hope it doesn't stick out too much. Before you try to put the trim on, make sure you take the old tape off. Clean it with alcohol or goof off. But you gotta push it back with a screwdriver. And you can use your thumb to peel it back too. All right, back in the garage, doing a little bit of bumper work. Got everything covered up. I'm gonna hit it with some of this automotive primer. Got it smoothed down as best as I can. Um, you know, I'm not a pro, but it should look a lot better than a big crack. So we'll see what this looks like after. Give it a wet sand, and I'm probably gonna plastic dip the car or save up more money and just get it back to the OEM yellow, the Genster yellow. So we'll see. I just sprayed the primer. I'd say it looks a lot better than a uh, big fat crack, but obviously I'm not a professional, and there's like a bulge right here. But, uh, it's better than a big fat crack. I'm going to plastic dip on top of it so that I'll add another layer. Hopefully after that it'll be smooth. But, definitely could have done some more sanding. 
It's all right. I'll get it with the wet sand. And I'm not trying to get it perfect either. So. I went in and checked the fuse for the radio that is hidden above the fuse boxes. I mean, the, the regular fuse is down here. And it's located up there. That blue one. And it ended up being blown. So that's, I hope that fixes the cigarette lighter. 